Well, hello and uh, welcome to the next episode of uh, Conversations with uh, Cabrera. It's a terrific pleasure to have my dear colleague across town, President Greg Fenves of Emory University, one of the most important academic partners of, uh, of Georgia Tech. Um, at about this time last year, he started his, uh, his tenure as, as our president, uh, and, um, and I did two years ago. So it's a, it's a good timing to, to have a chat, to know what's happening at Emory University, but also to discuss the, the past, the present, and the, uh, and the future of our, of our partnership. So um, anyway, thank you so much, Greg, for spending some time with me. And um, if that's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to, to, to hear a little bit about your journey uh, coming to, uh, to Emory and, and, and why Emory? What, what attracted you to, to become the new, uh, the new president of this great university? First of all, Angel, thank you for the invitation. It's wonderful to be on the Georgia Tech campus on this beautiful day in September. Uh, and so uh, you ask, how, what was my journey here? Well, I've been in higher education for quite a while. Uh, after, uh, after graduating with my PhD, was, went right to becoming a professor in engineering. So I was a professor at the uh, University of California, Berkeley, for uh, a little over 20 years. 2008, decided to move to the University of Texas at Austin. We had a 12-year career there, uh, first as dean of engineering, and then uh, five years as president of the University of Texas at Austin. If you look at the institutions you've been uh, part of in, in different capacities, what makes Emory unique and, and different from, um, from the others? And then to see in one university uh, in outstanding arts and sciences, that at its core is a liberal arts university, uh, to see professional schools, business and law and medicine, uh, so, so close together, and then to be integrated with a healthcare system. It's a very unique university in American higher education right now. But the other thing that attracted uh, uh, my wife Carmel and me was Atlanta. We were really looking to being in a large, vibrant, diverse city. And uh, we, we've just so much enjoyed discovering Atlanta and, uh, and learning about how important institutions like Emory and Georgia Tech are so central to the city of Atlanta and the metro Atlanta region. So we have a long history, Emory and Georgia Tech, but it's been in the last two decades where really the partnership has become a lot stronger. Let's start with our, with our shared library. You and I got to tour our shared uh, library uh, infrastructure a couple of months ago. I know both of us were quite impressed by, by, by that facility and the technology and the logistics involved in it. Why is that partnership uh, important? We need a way to maintain our archives, but not on central campus. Um, and every university is dealing with this, but I, not every university has partners like we have. So Georgia Tech and Emory has created uh, a purpose-driven central library that we can have our, our history uh, stored and accessible on 24-hour or less notice, so it's very convenient to use. Another partnership uh, that we have, we have this, this TIGER program where law school students from Emory and business school students um, and folks with more of a technical background come together to think of new ventures and, and why is that important in the modern university, in the modern research university, but also in a city like, like Atlanta? Well, I think there are a couple of important reasons and this is something I've spent a, a lot of time and focus on in, 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 my, in my career. Uh, that if we think about the ways that I information is disseminated, how do we have an impact on society? There's a scholarship aspect that's crucially important. But in, in many areas, uh, in sciences, in engineering and technology, in medicine, uh, there are other ways to have an impact, and that is through the marketplace, through the commercial sector. And so we do that through uh, education, teaching our students to think entrepreneurially. Uh, but then there's how do you move from the idea, the experiment, the prototype, and assess what are the market opportunities that that innovation can truly solve somebody's problem. And that's what Georgia Tech has been working on, that's what Emory has been working on, especially in the, the biomedical and healthcare sector. And then the third reason is we are engines of economic development for the cities that we're located. And if you look at the thriving cities in the country, or in fact around the world, at the core of them they have research universities. And I use the plural because the cluster 
of research universities is really important. So if we're going to give back to society in Atlanta, the metro region, the state of Georgia, southeast uh, region, we are part of the engine that's going to drive that economic, economic development, that economic growth, that opportunity, making it more equal and accessible. And the universities have to be part of that conversation. So one um, pretty amazing way in which this cluster effect manifested itself was by this one-of-a-kind partnership in biomedical engineering a program that, that predates us, uh, that goes back to the late 90s, and that honestly, uh, coming in as a new president, I've been amazed that um, of how successful that partnership has been. Really, people ask me, how was this possible? A private university, a public university, bringing their assets together and creating a program in biomedical engineering that now, according to some rankings, is really in the top two, top three programs in, in, the, in the country. It is amazing how well it works. And it is a credit to our predecessors from the, the 90s that uh, got that program started and enabled it to continue and grow to where it is today. And uh, I, I, I know we are both committed to that continued success of the Joint Department. So what makes it work? Um, I think it's that we have complementary universities. With Georgia Tech, the expertise in engineering, the expertise in chemical engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, where the field of biomedical engineering grew out of. You have tremendously strong depth there. But biomedical engineering has bio in front of it. It has medical in it. And to be truly an innovative biomedical engineering department, the medicine part is really, is really important. And with Emory's School of Medicine, uh, which is just an incredible uh, place of research, and clinical care, and translational research, uh, bringing that capability together with the engineering expertise, I think, has provided this such unique combination. And uh, so I think that is the, that is the, uh, the key ingredient, the secret to its success. Greg, I, as you look at the opportunity in, in, the, in the city that we, that we share, that we call home, what's the most exciting part of the, what you see in the next five, ten years happening in this city? Uh, well, one of this is uh, that we've, we've already touched upon is how do we build the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial ecosystem within, uh, within Atlanta uh, to also uh, deal with uh, equity and uh, inequality and how we address that through economic opportunity, economic growth. I think that is a future for, for the city of Atlanta, future for our region, but also an important future for our country. And we can be a model to show that how, how that is done. The other thing that's very important uh, for, uh, for any city, but also Atlanta, is educational opportunity for, for young people. And so the schools uh, are so essential to our future. Uh, they're gonna be our students in, in, a, in a decade or two, uh, they're going to be the, the, the workforce, they're going to be the leaders of the city. And I think it's, a, it's important for leading institutions in the city to uh, work with, uh, with local leaders, work with communities about how we can, uh, we can prepare the next generation, educate them so that they can be happy, can be successful, can be contributors to their communities. When I spend time with, with the new companies that are choosing to move to Atlanta, by the way, just I even see Google's new tower right, right, right there, and, and and Microsoft not far from here. And I ask him, what is it that that you like about Atlanta that is bringing you to Atlanta? They highlight the same things: the density of, again, research universities, high quality uh, universities, the diversity of our university, and the diversity of the talent available in in Atlanta. So I'm I'm delighted um, to, to to know how committed you are. To, um, to, to increasing opportunity, to expanding access, to strengthening that ecosystem of inclusive entrepreneurship in, in, in our city. Well, uh, Greg, it's, a, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you. I, I love to have you as a, as a partner, and, um, and here's to many more collaborations between our institutions. Well, I, uh, Angel, you're a great partner for Emory University and a great citizen of Atlanta. So I look forward to continuing and strengthening the collaborations between Emory and Georgia Tech.